Did you know that mastering your mind is one of the most powerful things you can do for your life? If you want to rise above stress, overcome distractions, and achieve your true potential, you need to start by mastering your thoughts. The best way to take control of your life and find lasting peace is through Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's more relevant than ever in today's fast-paced world. Avoid this mistake. Most people think that happiness and success come from external achievements or perfect circumstances, but the truth is, it all begins within. Don't believe the myth that you need to have everything figured out before you can start making progress. In this video, we're diving into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and exploring how you can use its principles to create a mindset that's resilient, focused, and unstoppable. So, if you're ready to take control of your life, let's dive in and uncover the power of mind mastery. Number 1. Let go of what others think. Mastering your mind. We've all been there, right? Walking into a room, feeling eyes on us, and instantly wondering, what are they thinking? The need for validation is something most of us have experienced, but what if I told you, you don't need anyone's approval to live your best life. Picture this a life where you're at peace with yourself, where what others think doesn't have the power to shake your confidence or alter your decisions. Imagine how freeing it would feel to be unburdened by the weight of other people's opinions. Now, let's dive deep. This concept of letting go of what others think is not just a fleeting thought or a passing idea. It's a fundamental shift in mindset. It requires us to master our mind, control our thoughts, and refuse to let external judgments dictate our emotions or actions. This shift is at the core of Stoic philosophy, especially the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. They spoke of the importance of focusing only on what we can control. We can control our thoughts, our actions, and our responses to situations but we cannot control what others think of us. When we place our value in the hands of others' perceptions, we hand over the keys to our own happiness. This might seem like an easy thing to do in the moment, but it only breeds insecurity and doubt. People may say things about you that aren't true, or they might misunderstand your intentions. The reality is that we can't please everyone, and that's okay. We should no longer allow the opinions of others to overshadow our own self-worth. Think about it. How many times have you done something you were excited about only to second-guess yourself because of what someone else might think? Or have you avoided an opportunity because you feared rejection or judgment? The truth is, the more you cling to others' opinions, the less you're able to truly live authentically you become enslaved to their perceptions, constantly seeking approval. To break free, we need to master the art of focusing on what we control our thoughts, our actions, and our inner peace. When we choose to let go of the external noise and focus solely on what aligns with our values, we step into our power. This means accepting that not everyone will agree with us, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, the more you embrace your own authenticity, the more you will attract those who resonate with your true self. Remember the times when you were younger, when you didn't care as much about what others thought, when you did what you loved without overthinking. Maybe you were the kid who wore whatever felt comfortable, even if it wasn't the most fashionable choice. You were the one who laughed the loudest, who danced without caring if anyone was watching. Somewhere along the way, we lose that. We start to become more aware of the opinions around us. We try to fit in, blend in, be what society expects of us. As you reflect on that younger, more carefree version of yourself, it might bring a smile to your face. The freedom that came with not caring about the opinions of others. Wouldn't it be amazing to recapture that feeling, to once again let go of the constant pressure of societal norms? Imagine waking up every day with the confidence that your thoughts and actions are enough. That you are enough. Number 2. Cultivate Emotional Resilience. 
strength through adversity. Life can be a beautiful ride, full of highs and unforgettable moments. But it's also unpredictable, with unexpected challenges around every corner. We've all had those moments, times when life throws a curveball and we feel unprepared to handle it. Maybe you lost a job, faced a tough breakup, or went through a financial crisis. In those moments, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and lost. But what if I told you that within every adversity, there's an opportunity to grow stronger, to become more resilient? Imagine being able to bounce back, no matter what life throws at you, with a heart and mind that remain steady and focused. Emotional resilience is the ability to face life's challenges with strength, grace and adaptability. It's not about avoiding pain or hardship, it's about learning how to cope with and grow through it. The Stoics taught us that suffering is a part of life and it's not the events themselves that determine our fate, but our reactions to them. When life hits hard, it's easy to fall into despair, but resilient people don't let setbacks define them. They accept the pain, learn from it, and use it to fuel their progress. This is the stoic perspective adversity isn't something to be avoided, but rather embraced as a tool for growth. The great philosopher Seneca once said, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. The more we face challenges head-on, the more we develop our emotional strength. We all face tough times, and it's easy to get caught up in the idea that life should be smooth sailing. But no one is immune to hardship. It's the way we handle these moments that sets us apart. Do we crumble, or do we rise? Do we allow emotions like fear, anger or sadness to control us? Or do we choose to navigate through them with wisdom and resilience? By cultivating emotional resilience, we learn to see adversity through a different lens. Instead of viewing challenges as obstacles, we begin to see them as opportunities to strengthen our character. The more resilient we become, the more we realize that setbacks are just temporary and that we are capable of handling anything that comes our way. Think back to a time in your life when you faced a major setback. Maybe it was in your career, in a relationship, or during a period of personal growth. At the time, it may have felt like the end of the world. You may have questioned yourself, felt unsure of how to move forward, or even doubted your strength. But what if, looking back, you realize that moment was the catalyst for the person you are today? That the pain you felt, the challenge you endured, actually made you stronger, wiser, and more resilient. We all have our stories of struggle, and those stories often carry wisdom. They show us how we've grown, how we've persevered. There's strength in every moment of hardship we've faced, even if we didn't realize it at the time. Those moments didn't break us, they made us. And with every challenge you've faced, you've built an inner strength that no one can take away. So, let's take a moment to reflect. Think about all the challenges you've overcome in your life. What did you learn from them? How have they shaped who you are today? Embrace that growth, because that resilience is a part of you now. It's who you are, not who you were. Number three. Use the power of perception. Transform your mindset. Have you ever noticed how two people can experience the same situation, but one walks away feeling defeated while the other is inspired? It's incredible how much power our perceptions hold in shaping our reality. Imagine for a moment that you had the ability to shift your mindset in an instant, seeing every challenge as an opportunity, every setback as a lesson, what would that do for you? How would your life change if you could harness the power of perception to shape a mindset that empowers you instead of limits you? Perception is everything. How we perceive a situation often determines how we respond to it. Stoicism teaches us that external events are neutral. What matters is how we interpret them. It's all about the lens through which we view the world. For example, 
If you view a job loss as a failure, you may spiral into feelings of despair. But if you view it as an opportunity to explore new paths or build new skills, it suddenly becomes a chance for growth. The key to transforming your mindset lies in understanding that you can control how you perceive the world around you. The Stoics believed that we can never change external events, but we can always control our inner thoughts and reactions. It's the difference between seeing obstacles as insurmountable walls and seeing them as stepping stones to something greater. When we change our perception, we change our reality. A negative mindset can keep us stuck in fear, self-doubt and frustration. But a positive, growth-oriented mindset can propel us forward even in the face of adversity. The way we perceive challenges can make all the difference between staying stuck in a rut and breaking through to something better. Think back to a time when you were faced with a difficult situation and your perception made all the difference. Maybe you were in school, facing a tough exam or dealing with a challenging project at work. How did you perceive the situation? Did you see it as a threat or as a challenge? Remember how, with the right mindset, you were able to push through and succeed. Those moments were not just about the outcome, they were about how you saw the process and how you used that perception to fuel your efforts. Number four, live according to nature. Embrace change with serenity. Imagine waking up in the morning and not feeling burdened by the chaos around you. Picture a life where you embrace change instead of fearing it, where you live in harmony with the flow of life. Doesn't it sound peaceful? What if I told you this serene life is possible and it starts with a simple but powerful idea living according to nature. In a world that often feels out of control, this approach provides a sense of grounding, balance and inner peace. And it's not some abstract philosophy, it's something deeply rooted in the Stoic tradition, a way of life that has been followed by some of history's greatest minds. Living according to nature means aligning yourself with the natural rhythms of the world and accepting change as an essential part of life. The Stoics, especially Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, emphasized the importance of living in accordance with the natural world. To them, nature was not just about trees, rivers or mountains. It was about understanding and accepting the laws that govern the universe. Things like cause and effect, birth and death, creation and destruction. These laws are not arbitrary, they are a part of the fabric of existence. When we talk about embracing change with serenity, we're referring to the ability to accept that everything is transient, life is constantly evolving and nothing stays the same for long. Relationships, jobs, health and even our own sense of identity can change in the blink of an eye. But instead of resisting these changes, Stoicism teaches us to flow with them, to see them as natural occurrences that are beyond our control. Change, rather than being something to fear, becomes something to welcome because it's a part of life's natural progression. You see, living according to nature means recognizing that the universe is vast and beyond our understanding. We are not in control of everything, and that's okay. What we can control is how we respond to the world around us. Just as a tree sways in the wind but remains rooted in the earth, we too must be flexible in our responses, adapting to life's changes while staying grounded in our principles and values. This doesn't mean we're indifferent to change. It means we accept it with grace, understanding that each shift in our life brings with it an opportunity for growth. The key to embracing change with serenity is practicing acceptance. This doesn't mean passively waiting for change to happen. It means actively choosing to accept the ebb and flow of life, not resisting it or fighting against it. This acceptance allows us to face challenges with calm and confidence because we know that change, like all things, is part of a larger cycle that is beyond our control. When we accept that change is inevitable, we open ourselves to the wisdom of nature, of the world, 
and can navigate through life's ups and downs with equanimity. Think back to a time when you felt deeply connected to nature. Maybe it was a time when you went on a hike, sat by a river, or simply took a walk in the park, and you felt the stillness of the moment. Perhaps you were able to forget about the hustle and bustle of daily life and just breathe. There was a sense of peace in that moment, a knowing that everything in the world, including you, was exactly where it was meant to be. You may not have realized it at the time, but you were living according to nature, experiencing the world in its most authentic form. Number five, practice self-discipline, staying focused on your goals. Self-discipline is a word we hear often, but have you ever stopped to think about the true power it holds? Picture a life where distractions don't pull you off course, where you're able to stay focused on your goals despite the noise and chaos of the world around you. Imagine the satisfaction of looking back at your day and knowing you gave it your all, staying true to your commitments, moving closer to your dreams, and accomplishing what you set out to do. That's the power of self-discipline, the ability to stay focused, no matter what. Self-discipline is the foundation of success. It's the ability to stay focused on what truly matters, despite the distractions, temptations, and challenges that life throws at us. It's not just about saying no to instant gratification, but about saying yes to long-term rewards. The Stoics understood the importance of self-discipline in their own lives. Epictetus, for example, taught that we are the architects of our own character. If we are not disciplined in our actions, we allow external forces to dictate our lives, and that leaves us vulnerable to chaos. The essence of self-discipline is the ability to control your impulses, emotions, and behaviors in the service of your goals. It's about making the hard choices, day in and day out, that will lead to a better future. Think about the times in your life when you've been most successful, whether it was in your career, health, or personal growth. Chances are, you had to demonstrate self-discipline to get there. You had to resist distractions, stay focused, and make decisions that aligned with your long-term vision. This doesn't mean life becomes easy or that challenges won't arise. In fact, self-discipline often requires us to push through discomfort, delay gratification, and work tirelessly toward our goals. But what separates those who achieve their dreams from those who don't is the ability to stay consistent. Self-discipline means that even when things get tough, you continue to push forward because you know that every small step brings you closer to your goal. In Stoicism, self-discipline isn't about perfection. It's about consistent effort. It's understanding that mastery is not an overnight accomplishment, but a process that requires patience, resilience, and a deep commitment to personal growth. The Stoics believed that every challenge is an opportunity to build discipline and that discipline is the key to living a virtuous and fulfilling life. Think back to a time when you set a big goal for yourself. Maybe it was a fitness goal, a career milestone, or a personal development target. Remember how it felt at the beginning, excited but also unsure of whether you could truly achieve it. Now, think about the days when it was difficult to stay disciplined, when you wanted to quit or take the easy way out. But you didn't. You pushed through, stayed focused, and didn't let the challenges distract you from your purpose. And when you finally reached your goal, there was that incredible feeling of accomplishment, pride, and self-respect. That was self-discipline in action. Number six, embrace the present moment, the power of now. How often do we find ourselves looking back at the past or worrying about the future? We replay old conversations, regret our decisions, or wonder what lies ahead. But in doing so, we miss out on the one thing we can control, the present moment. Imagine a life where you are fully immersed in the now, where every moment is experienced with complete awareness and mindfulness. The present moment is where life happens, 
and it's the only time we truly have. Embracing the present moment is a core principle of Stoicism, and it's one of the most powerful tools we can use to achieve peace and happiness. The Stoics understood that the past is gone, the future is uncertain, and all we have is this moment. By focusing on the present, we free ourselves from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. The power of now lies in the fact that it's the only time we have control over. When we live in the present, we stop worrying about what we can't change and start focusing on what we can do right now. This doesn't mean we ignore the past or the future, but rather, we give them their due place without allowing them to dominate our thoughts or actions. Living in the present moment allows us to fully engage with life as it unfolds. It means experiencing each moment with mindfulness, whether it's a simple task, a conversation, or even a challenging situation. When we give our full attention to the present, we become more aware of the opportunities around us, more connected to our inner peace and more aligned with our goals. We stop being distracted by the what-ifs and start embracing the beauty of what is. The Stoics would remind us that there is no better time to act than now. If we wait for the perfect moment or for the future to align in a way that makes us feel comfortable, we might wait forever. The present moment is the only time when we have the power to change, to act, and to make a difference. By embracing the present, we unlock the potential to live a more fulfilling and intentional life. Think back to a time when you were completely absorbed in the present. Maybe it was a moment spent with family, friends, or doing something you loved. Remember how everything else faded away, and all that mattered was the experience at hand. In those moments, you didn't worry about the future or dwell on past mistakes. You were just there, fully present. How good did it feel to be in the moment, free from distractions? Reflecting on those moments can help us realize how much we miss when we aren't fully present. We get so caught up in our worries, our plans or our regrets, but in doing so, we often miss the beauty of life as it's happening. By remembering those times of presence, we can motivate ourselves to embrace the now more often and to truly experience the richness of each moment. How can you cultivate more moments of presence in your life? How can you become more mindful in the everyday moments, free from distractions and worries? What practices or techniques can help you stay grounded in the now, even when life gets busy or overwhelming? Let's explore the tools and strategies for embracing the present moment fully and how doing so can bring more peace, joy and fulfillment into your life. Number 7. Build or join a community that supports your growth. We all know that success is rarely achieved alone. Imagine being surrounded by a group of people who truly support you. People who lift you up, challenge you and help you become the best version of yourself. Wouldn't that make life feel a little easier, a little more fulfilling? We all need a community that shares our values and encourages our growth, and when we find the right one, it can be life-changing. Humans are social creatures, and we thrive in environments where we feel supported and understood. This is why building or joining a community that nurtures your growth is so important. The Stoics themselves weren't isolated individuals, they understood the value of wisdom being shared and discussed in community. Epictetus, for instance, ran a school where students could come together and learn the principles of Stoicism. He knew that learning was richer when done in the company of others. When we surround ourselves with people who encourage our development, we naturally rise to the occasion. A supportive community provides accountability, encouragement and motivation. These people will remind you of your goals when you forget them, push you when you feel stuck and celebrate with you when you achieve success. But it's not just about finding people who agree with everything you say. A community that fosters growth challenges us too. 
They offer diverse perspectives and ideas that force us to think deeper and expand our horizons. Whether it's a study group, a fitness team, a business mastermind, or a group of like-minded friends, the right community can be a powerful catalyst for personal and professional growth. The key is to be intentional about who you surround yourself with. Seek out individuals who challenge you, who inspire you, and who hold you accountable for your actions. Avoid people who bring negativity or hold you back from your potential. The community you choose to build or join will shape who you become. When you find the right people, your growth will be exponential and the path to success will feel less like a struggle and more like a shared journey. Think back to a time when you felt truly supported by a community. Maybe it was during a challenging period of your life and you had a group of people who were there for you, offering their wisdom, their help or simply their presence. Remember how that support made all the difference. Those moments of connection are what help us grow, learn and move forward. You may have felt a sense of belonging, like you were not alone in your struggles and that made it easier to keep going. Now think about how you felt when you didn't have that support. Maybe you felt isolated or unsure of your next steps. Without the right people around you, it can be hard to stay focused on your goals. But with the right community, you have a sense of purpose and direction. Reflecting on these times helps us understand just how valuable a supportive community is for growth. So, how can you create or find a community that supports your growth? How do you go about seeking out people who share your values and who will help you achieve your dreams? What steps can you take to ensure that the community you build or join is one that inspires and challenges you to become better every day? Let's explore how we can find or create the kind of supportive network that will help propel us toward our goals. Number 8. Harness the wisdom of Stoicism for lasting mind mastery. Wouldn't it be incredible to feel in complete control of your mind? To have the power to rise above any challenge, to stay calm in the face of adversity, and to make decisions that align with your highest values. This is the promise of Stoicism, a philosophy that offers the tools for mastering your mind no matter what life throws at you. By harnessing the wisdom of the Stoics, you can unlock lasting inner peace, resilience, and clarity. Stoicism is not just a set of principles. It's a practical guide for mastering your mind and emotions. It teaches us how to cultivate virtues like wisdom, courage, and self-discipline, which form the foundation of a calm and focused mind. The Stoics believed that we cannot always control external events, but we can control our reactions to them. This is the essence of mind mastery, the ability to choose how we respond to life's challenges. By practicing stoic exercises like negative visualization, imagining the worst case scenario, we prepare ourselves mentally for any outcome. This builds resilience and helps us keep our emotions in check. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of living in accordance with nature, of accepting the things we cannot change and focusing on what we can control. Incorporating Stoic wisdom into our daily lives can help us cultivate greater self-awareness and emotional intelligence. We learn not to be swayed by fleeting emotions or external circumstances, but instead to stay grounded in our values and principles. By applying Stoicism, we gain control over our mental state and in doing so, we gain mastery over our actions and reactions. Stoicism encourages us to see every obstacle as an opportunity for growth. When we face adversity, instead of complaining or resisting, we ask ourselves, what can I learn from this? This shift in perspective helps us develop a mindset that is resilient, adaptable and unshaken by the ups and downs of life. With Stoicism, mind mastery isn't just an ideal, it's a way of life. Think back to a time when you were able to stay calm in a difficult situation. 
Maybe it was a stressful moment at work, a challenging conversation, or a personal crisis. In that moment, you were able to manage your emotions, think clearly, and make decisions that were aligned with your values. How did that feel? There's a sense of pride and inner peace that comes from being able to maintain control in the midst of chaos. You didn't let the situation dictate your emotions. You were in charge of your response. Reflecting on these moments helps us realize how powerful mind mastery can be. The more we practice stoicism, the more often we can show up in these challenging situations with clarity, confidence and composure. Over time, these small victories add up to create a profound sense of inner peace and mental strength. How can you begin to harness the wisdom of stoicism for mind mastery? What stoic exercises or practices can you incorporate into your daily routine? How do you start applying stoic principles to your life in a way that leads to lasting mental strength and emotional resilience? Let's dive deeper into the specific tools and strategies Stoicism offers for achieving mind mastery so you can begin living a life of greater clarity, control and peace. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're part of the rare 0.01% who are actually committed to seeing things through. Mastering your mind is a journey and you've just taken a huge step toward becoming the best version of yourself. Remember, the power to change your life is in your hands and it starts with your mindset. If you're serious about making that change, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By joining this channel, you're investing in your growth and gaining access to the tools and wisdom you need to live a life of purpose and strength. Keep pushing forward and I'll see you in the next one.